right now. Choose any new 20 Mazda and get 0% for 60 months, plus 90 days deferred payments during the Team Mazda Upgrade event happening now at Team Mazda on Airline. Hi, business owners. Phase three. Woohoo! But do your customers know you're back? Well, that's where the Clarence Bug Show and Pelican Broadcasting can help. Right now, we've got great rates on advertising packages to help you get the word out. Shoot me an email at bugsclarence at gmail.com. Or better yet, call me up. I'd love to talk with you. 225-485-6839. Let's get together and make phase three the best it can possibly be. From appetizers, pasta dishes, and entrees, La Contea takes pride in preparing all the Italian cuisine we know you love. Enjoy live music every Thursday through Saturday from 6 to 9, happy hour weekdays from 3 to 6, and brunch on Sundays from 11 to 2, as well as dinner portion-sized lunch specials for under $10. Visit our website to view our menu and book a party or meeting in our large banquet room. Once you try La Contea, your Italian dining will change forever. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me. It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just got to know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just got to know the right people. You can know the right people too. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. To the post-election day edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping that all is well with you and yours in the world this day. And if there was ever an adage that would very appropriately describe where we are right now, it's an old saying in the Army and probably in the military in general. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> that's, where, that's where we find ourselves right now. I, I think the overwhelming majority of Americans were hoping that we would have a decision by the time we went to bed at 2.30 this morning. And by the way, that's getting, I'm, I'm too old for that, y'all. That's staying up till 2, 2.30 in the morning stuff, that's, that's for young folks. And I am in no way, shape, or form in that number anymore. But I digress. Most of us were hoping we'd have a final decision before retiring for the night. Most of us also figured we wouldn't have a final decision by the end of the night. Uh, Marty and I new heading into last night doesn't really make sense for you to stay up late because we're not going to know and you know after after 40 years of broadcasting covering elections you get in a certain mind frame when it's go time and you understand full well that you hope for the best but you expect the worst. And in this particular instance, pretty much what everybody figured was going to happen, happened. So, all that being said, let's look at the big winners last night. First and foremost, at the top of my list of the big winners last night, black and Hispanic voters. Their repudiation of the stereotypes 
their refusal to be dictated to by the Democrat Party and the mainstream media and their willingness to look at their reality in life right now and vote according to that. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing when people tell you that this guy, that guy, this girl, that girl is all oh, such a horrible person. But when that guy or girl, in this case, guy, President Trump, has allowed you to keep more of your money in your own pocket because of a tax cut, when he has done a long list of things that benefit your community, for you to be willing to vote based on your reality instead of the false narrative, the false reality that many would have you buy into is a sign of political maturity. You may well remember months ago, we talked about some famous quotes from Malcolm X. And as a military brat, growing up in a military household, I related a whole lot more to the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. than I did to Malcolm X. But as time goes by and I delve deeper and deeper into comments, ideology that Malcolm X put out there, it's amazing the parallels that you can draw. One of his famous quotes, Malcolm X's, is that the so-called black leadership never talks to us about becoming politically mature. They tell us, register, but they don't want to see us mature. They want us to simply register and then vote the way they tell us to vote. Yesterday was hopefully the most glaring example, maybe in my lifetime so far, that black and Hispanic voters are maturing politically, understanding that the whole purpose in voting is not to keep a person or party in power. It is to improve your station in life. And the number of black and Hispanic voters that faced that reality and governed themselves accordingly is truly refreshing. Second big winner from last night, the Republican Party for having a candidate, Donald J. Trump, who fulfilled his promises to people of all persuasions to make them feel welcome under, quote, the big tent. You know, for years, I've heard as a black man, other people of color say their big problem with the Republican Party is that they don't often reach out to us. Donald J. Trump is the kind of guy that lets his actions speak for him. He's the kind of guy that makes a promise and realizes, I've made a promise. And he works and works and works until he fulfills that promise. In seeing this, people of color now say, well, huh, maybe the Republican Party is not the bunch of racists we've been told all this time that they are. I mean, after all, look at all this guy has done in a very short span of time that's benefited people of color. Third big winner from last night. 
Newsmax TV. Conservatives, if you are one of those, and there's a whole lot of them, that have become seriously disenchanted with Fox News, you got to get Newsmax. Their coverage last night blew Fox out of the water. They not only blew them out of the water, when the boat landed on dry land, they fired a few more shots into the hull as well. It uh, was so refreshing last night because, you know, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think there's a single person watching right now that would argue the fact that the media is overwhelmingly liberal. Everybody knows that. This, this is no, you know, earth-shaking revelation here. So for those of us who lean conservative and for those who want just the facts and allow me to make up my own mind, let me wholeheartedly recommend that you give Newsmax a shot. I uh, fortunately cut the cord, well, at least theoretically, and now only have internet TV. And that's how I ran across Newsmax. And uh, they are they are gaining by leaps and bounds on Fox News. And uh, it's, it's no longer the Fox that, you know, we all grew up with, came to know and love as conservatives. But that's the beauty of our system. When you have 350 plus million people and one particular entity is not fitting the bill, that opens the door for competition. It opens the door for someone else to step in and fill that neglected niche. Newsmax has learned that lesson very well. Final big winner for me last night. Everyday Americans that refused to let the pollsters and the mainstream media hoodwink them into believing a false reality. Every now and then, and, and what is so great about this, this is the second year, well, second election cycle in a row, where we've seen this happen. The drumbeat, the incessant propaganda that the mainstream media has put out there since day one of the Trump administration once again, Americans are refuting it. Now, there are still those that, you know, they are who they are, they do what they do, they get their input, their information, if you will, from the mainstream media. There will, in all likelihood, always be those people. But hopefully, if nothing else, they will see the number of their fellow Americans that have a different reality, a different understanding, and a different approach to being an American. And hopefully, maybe, they will say, these are my fellow Americans. Maybe I should at least entertain it. Wouldn't, wouldn't put a bet on it. <laughs> but it is what it is. For me, those were the big winners. Obviously, got to talk about the big losers. Let me get this break out of the way. We'll bang it out, come back and talk about who were the big losers last night. That's next on the Clarence Bug Show. Stay close.
owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Hi, I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with The Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. I've seen a lot of things during my life. More bad things than good. I've lived in a lot of places, but never a home. I don't think anybody cares about me anymore. And now, I'm tired. Signed, Brian, age 11. Abused and neglected children in East Baton Rouge Parish are in dire need of CASA volunteers. Please call 379-8598 today. Change a life of hurt into a life of hope. You could be driving. Right now, during the Team Honda Upgrade event, get a new 20 Accord Sport for just $309 a month with no money down, no first payment, and no security deposit. It's time to upgrade to your new Honda at Louisiana's number one new car dealer, Team Honda, on Sea and Lane. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. back to the post-election day edition of the Clarence Buck Show. In the last segment, we talked about my perception of the big winners last night. This segment, the big losers. The obvious number one on this list would have to be the pollsters and the mainstream media. For the second presidential election cycle in a row. The pollsters, once again, got it wrong. It's as though they learned absolutely nothing from four years ago. And I guess when you've been doing a certain thing a certain way for so long, and it's worked for you, Sometimes it's tough for you to face reality and change your approach. We were told by any number of organizations over and over and over and over, as many times as we would listen, double-digit lead, doesn't make sense to vote. This thing is all but wrapped up. And yet... Look at where we find ourselves today. I have a very dear friend who is a numbers guy. And I think I'm going to make it a point to call him this afternoon uh, because he is one of those very conservative but is a super strong believer in the polls. My argument has always been you can make the numbers say pretty much whatever you want them to say if you know how to phrase the question and you know who to call. Once again, we get a very glaring example of 
quote, professional pollsters missing the mark. Hopefully, this will convince those who are as of yet unconvinced that you don't base your decision, your actions, based on the polls. An equal big loser last night would have to be the mainstream media. <laughs> oh my God, what, what do you say? After months and months and months and years of putting out pure propaganda, once again, all they have to show for it is the back of America's hand. The mainstream media has engaged, along with social media, in an obviously concerted effort to hoodwink the American people. There was a, a, a survey out recently that showed the mainstream media's coverage of the Trump administration since day one has been 93% negative. Listen, y'all, <laughs> there's not a person on the planet that in their life has done 93% negative things. My late father, God bless him, taught all of his children early in life. Every individual has something to offer. Every individual has some redeeming qualities. For some, you may have to dig a little deeper to find it than with others, but everyone has some redeeming qualities. When you accomplish for this country what Donald J. Trump has accomplished for this country, and the coverage is 93% negative, that tells me, I don't know about you, but that tells me that this is a concerted effort to be negative. All you have to do is look at the record. Look at what he has accomplished for all sectors of the American population. And it's ironic and actually kind of funny. Many of those who are his staunchest critics, when it was a reality TV show, oh, they loved him. When he was writing checks, Al Sharpton, to help their organizations, oh, they loved him. But now, all of a sudden, he is the worst thing to ever happen. Now, I understand as well as everybody else, when you have an agenda that you are actively pursuing, that's typically what you do. However, the mainstream media and social media obviously engaged in a massive cover-up with the Hunter Biden laptop story. You would have to be, I, I don't want to insult anybody, let me rephrase that. Only those who don't know the story would not be upset by this. And ironically, this shows you better than anything else that I can think of right off the top of my head, the difference between conservatives and liberals. Put this shoe on the other foot for just a second. Imagine, if you will, there was a laptop that allegedly belonged to Donald Trump Jr., and on this laptop, there were compromising pictures, there were horrible videos, there were thousands of emails that pointed to serious corruption. If the mainstream media and social media conspired as a group 
to keep that story from the eyes of liberals, not only would the liberals boycott the mainstream media and their sponsors, the libs would march to the corporate headquarters of the mainstream media and they'd burn that sucker to the ground. You know I'm not lying. That is the difference between conservatives and liberals. Now, that being said, I urge you again, conservatives, do not allow this to go unchallenged and unpunished. If we do, you think it's bad now? Just wait. And for my friends on the other side, those of the liberal persuasion, understand something full well here. Society is like a pendulum. It swings in one direction until all that energy has been expended, and then it swings back the other way. When that energy is expended, it swings back the other way. So if you have no problem with what the mainstream media and social media has done with this Hunter Biden laptop from hell story. If you have no problem with that, I urge you to consider the fact that at some point when the pendulum expends all of its energy in this direction, it's going to come back and bite you. Another big loser last night and this may be the biggest one of all jamie harrison democrat running to unseat lindsey graham in south carolina money poured in from every democrat source across the country 104 Point one million dollars was spent to unseat Lindsey Graham in the United States Senate. 104.1 million dollars and he lost. Now <laughs> you can decide, I'll leave this to you, you can decide if they simply don't know how to run a campaign and or it is time for some serious campaign finance reform. We unfortunately have allowed politics to be infiltrated with so much money that it is an inevitability that corruption will sneak in right along with it. In many instances, corruption doesn't have to, quote, sneak in. It kicks down the door and boldly strides through it. When you have a situation like Wayne County in Michigan, where 140,000 votes get dumped into the system, magically appear and every single one of them is for the same guy <laughs> I don't know about you but being born at night does not mean you were born last night we are talking a statistical impossibility and yet we find ourselves where we find ourselves. This thing is a long way from over, y'all. So patience, obviously, is going to be the key. And we will know when we know. This ain't y'all's first rodeo. You know how this stuff works. So exhale, breathe easy. Sun will still come up in the east, still set in the west world will continue to turn on its axis and we'll get through this bottom of the hour break believe it or not there's stuff going on other than politics 
We'll talk about it next on the Clarence Bug Show here on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Jaguar Nation, we need your help in masking up Louisiana. Mask up or slow the spread of COVID-19. During this time, we must continue to wear a mask. Wash your hands and practice social distancing. It's important that we continue to abide by the CDC's guidelines to stop the spread. Jaguar Nation, we challenge you to mask up. Jags. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Today's the day to score thousands in savings on a new Toyota during the upgrade event at Team Toyota. Choose the all-new, redesigned 2020 Highlander and get $1,750 customer cash. Let today be the day you score thousands in savings at Team Toyota. I-12 at O'Neill. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. You're dependable, independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. You're dependable independent with nationwide buying power. Election Day edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, there is, uh, sadly, an old adage that says, the more things change, the more they stay the same. There is also a phrase in the American jargon that goes, and there are varying versions to it, but it all centers around, you would think they know better by now. For over a hundred years, the Greek system has been a part of college life in America. There's probably not a single person watching right now, whether you graduated from college simply attended college or never went to college. There's probably not a single person watching right now that does not know someone who's Greek. It is a part of the college experience. And in recent memory, the ugly side of Greek life has yielded some very tragic results. Right here in Baton Rouge, alcohol poisoning, allegedly,
tied to hazing has taken the lives of young people. And just this week, on the campus of Louisiana State University, our state's flagship university, we have the case of a member of a fraternity being arrested after a night of alleged hazing that left a pledgy on life support. Phi Kappa Psi member Terry Pat Reynolds booked for criminal hazing and failure to seek assistance. Reading from the WBRZ website, according to arrest documents obtained Monday, the investigation began after fraternity members dropped off a student at a hospital in serious condition. Hospital staff told investigators the victim was unresponsive, foaming at the mouth, and had to be placed on life support. It was later determined the victim's blood alcohol level was 0 0.451. Understand, in our state, and I think it is pretty much universally accepted across the length and breadth of our grand republic, 0 0.08 is considered legally drunk. This was nearly six times the legal limit. If that in and of itself were not bad enough, after investigators seized a number of phones from fraternity members, they went through them and there are some seriously, seriously revealing and incriminating text messages. I understand, I, I think back to when I was college age. Watching the news was probably the furthest thing from my mind. But a story the magnitude of an alcohol-related death, it's almost impossible to live your life even as a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, post-grad, whatever, and not be aware of the story. And to, again, indulge in the hazing and then be so cavalier about it that you send text message after text message after text message incriminating yourself says a whole lot to me about how we're raising our young people. Now, every time there's an incident like this, we hear people that are of the opinion the, quote, victims here were forced into doing this. I am one of those folks that um, is of the opinion, unless you physically sit on a guy's chest, hold his nose so that he has to open his mouth to breathe, and then you shove the bottle in his mouth and force him to swallow it, that's the only way you can, quote, be forced to do it. It's disturbing that one, the obvious, individuals are still resorting to this, knowing the attention that past incidents have generated, knowing if this is found out, what's going to happen. But more so disturbing than that is that we have young people that apparently still come into the college life with such an emptiness in them, wanting so desperately to be a part of something, to belong to something, that they are still willing to do this. 
Listen, y'all. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was young once. And back in the 70s, marching in the human jukebox, hazing was a part of it. I was fortunate in that I didn't live on campus and I owned my own vehicle. So at the end of band practice, I get in my car, I'm gone. If y'all planning on hazing folks, you better haze it while we're blowing our horns because as soon as we stop, I'm out of here. But the point is this, if there had ever been a time where someone approached me and told me, if you are going to be a part of this band, you have to endanger your life, that would have been it for me. I grew up within a stone's throw of Southern University. If during football season, a particular game, if I wasn't selling concessions, selling cold drinks, popcorn, peanuts, programs, whatever. If I didn't go to the game, I could open my bedroom window and listen to the entire game. And it was early in life, after listening to the band, I made the decision as a child, one day I'm going to be a part of that. So sure enough, that's the avenue that I pursued. So years later, when I set foot on Southern's campus as a freshman, that was a goal that I had been anticipating pretty much my whole life. But had that been a part of it, I would have checked that off the box real quick. Parents, we are failing our children. We are failing them miserably. And I understand, you know, I, I get the whole Greek thing. I had two or three fraternities approach me about joining. But for me, having made the band, that was, that was enough. I mean, back then, you got to understand something. The band was all guys, okay? There were no participation trophies, none of that. It was all guys. And... To make the band, you had to beat out another guy. And it was strenuous. It involved sweat equity like you could not believe. But when all was said and done, I was not going to let anyone else endanger my life. Parents, you got to talk with your kids. I, I, I understand for many of you, they have what's called legacy members. Well, you know, um, son, I pledged do fi do and your granddaddy, he was a member of do fi do and your great grandpappy, he was do fi do as well. So you got to do do fi do. I understand there's that legacy thing out there. But do you want your child to be crippled or lose their life? over something that in the grand scheme of things, I understand the networking, I understand the lifelong bonds, I understand you can move to any city in America, look in the directory, and you got a brother or a sister in that town. I get it. But if you don't live to get to that point, it kind of becomes a moot point, does it not? Fortunately, <laughs> The criminal element never has been, and probably, hopefully, never will be, the brightest bulb in the chandelier. This particular individual left a trail as clear as the day is long with incriminating text message after message after message after message. Your children should never go anywhere with such a deep desire and a hole in their soul because they want so desperately to belong to something, anything, 
bigger than themselves that they are willing to risk their lives to get it. Just saying. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and wrap up the post-election day edition of the Clarence Bug Show here on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats, taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Surprise! Something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And of course, The Exiles, right in front of yours truly, from 10 to 11, yours truly, 11 to 12. So now, it's appointment viewing. Five days a week, here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready, and health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the final segment of the post-election day edition of the Clarence Bug Show. I wish there was a, some concrete way to measure this, some true metric. The number of people that are at work today, and for that matter, the number of people at home watching right now, that are dog tired because they stayed up entirely too late last night hoping we would know by the time we went to sleep who will occupy the house the, the, the White House for the next four years um, it's amazing how life forces you to do certain things at, at one time in, in my life particularly in my professional life I was a night bird. I mean, you know, of course it didn't take long to figure out that you can't soar with the eagles and expect to be anything other than a buzzard. Y'all will get that later on. Don't worry about it. But there was a time where, dude, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, not a problem. 
What time is it? Oh, shoot, I can get two hours, go to work, do my thing. Not any more. It ain't that kind of party. So all that being said, let me urge you, patience is going to be the key here. This is not our first rodeo with this. So you should know full well by now that this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. You know how this works. Whatever side is declared the loser, that side is going to file in federal court a lawsuit. That lawsuit will be heard. A decision will be made. Whatever side is on the losing end of that ruling will then go to a court of appeal to appeal that decision. The court of appeal will then either kick it back to a lower court or they will issue a ruling. Whatever side is the loser, if the court of appeal issues a ruling, will then appeal the ruling from the court of appeal. They will go to the highest court in the land. Then we'll maybe get a decision. Of course now, there's always the distinct possibility that the court of appeal will kick it back to a lower court and it will have to be heard again. And of course, that decision will then be taken to appeal. They may well kick it back to a federal court again. So this thing could potentially go round and round and round until all of us are so dizzy we can't stand up. In the grand scheme of things, it's why you hear me say, our system is not perfect, but it's still the best there is. And my late father, God bless him, taught all of his kids early in life. There isn't anything worth having that isn't worth waiting for and or working for. So while we were all hoping for the best, <laughs> I think we all expected the worst. And, you know, depending on whether you're a glass half full person or glass half empty person, it could have been worse. It could have easily been worse. So deep breath, America, we will get through this. And when all is said and done, you know me, bleed red, white, and blue, my sincere hope is that we will come out on the other side of this stronger and better than we were going in. Now, if there is something that we should work toward wholeheartedly, and, and this is on both sides of the aisle, y'all, Democrat, Republican, Independent. We should demand two things after this. One, an election system that gives us the answers we deserve at the end of the day on election day. When you think about the leaps and bounds that we have made in technology, to find ourselves where we find ourselves is almost criminal. It was so disheartening last night to hear various secretaries of state across the country say, well, we weren't prepared. We normally don't have to handle this kind of volume. Well, my friend Roger Cador is fond of the saying, your job is to do your job. And if you cannot report the results of election day on election night, then you are failing miserably at doing your job. 
it, it, it's, it's amazing to me how these people could think that you will be able to count this many million absentee and mail-in ballots in one day. It's almost as though you are setting the system up to fail. It's hard for me to believe that there would be this mass uprising of the citizens of whatever state if you decided, the legislature, that ballots have to be in a week before the election. That way, we can count them, we can certify them, and on election night, we'll have a final tally for you. I don't think, as an American, that that is asking too much. As a matter of fact, it's what the American people deserve. Second thing that we should demand after all of this is some serious campaign finance reform. We have allowed entirely too much money to enter into the political arena. It is, it's a part of the human experience and it's a foregone conclusion. When you allow this much money into the process, corruption inevitably will follow. It's a simple fact of the human experience. You put that much money into anything and it's just a matter of time before someone is going to come along and misuse it. As Americans, we deserve better. As Americans, we should expect better. I'm hoping that at some point sooner rather than later, we as Americans will demand better. I understand full well, better than most. Clarence, you're the one always saying it's a capitalistic society and you know, money makes the world go around and that's what we do. I get that. But I don't want that in and of itself to end up being the one thing that opens the door for corruption that ruins what is the most sacred right that any of us as Americans can possess. We deserve better. The only question is, will we demand it? My time's up, y'all, and I got to go. But this day, like every other, and maybe more than most, I give it to you. You're right. America, we're not perfect. But doggone it, for my money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you realize he loves you, right? And I hope you know that I do too. Then again, <laughs> doesn't really matter because there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.